So you're doing your basement, so question is, would you go with the laminate, vinyl click or glue down vinyl? This is glue down vinyl, this is vinyl click. I don't have a laminate with me, but doesn't matter, it's the same thing. I would 100% never go in the basement with nothing else but a glue down vinyl. I'm 100% sure in that. I mean, look at that product anything can happen it's not going to go anywhere once you spread down the glue and you stick it down for the concrete it's not going to move it's not going to go anywhere if you want to go with a click vinyl you really have to do an awesome job in leveling out your basement because concrete is poor roughly so the builders can move out and sell the home they never level out the basement that's why always the best case scenario with the less headache down the road will be your glue down vinyl i tried it out and i'm never going to use click vinyl ever again on the basements because it happens if your basement concrete is not leveled properly and your locks are really bad and less quality like look at that I'll show you something this is supposed to be good flooring like not cheap not expensive something in the middle and look at the locks look at that look how easy they break if you when you go to get your flooring try to do that if you're able to so easy break off your lock it means they're gonna break under the weight of your foot. This is gonna happen and that's why your lock will disengage, your flooring will get really loose, you're gonna get a bunch of soft spots in the middle of the room and you're gonna have to replace it. And, and you can imagine if you wanna replace your plank in the middle of the room, let's say right here, you would have to remove every single row prior to that and basically dismantle half of the flooring in this room in order to get this one piece done and get it replaced. I have two options of glue down vinyl flooring here. This is two millimeter, really, really thin, and this is five millimeter. Look at the difference. This is something that I couldn't find in a Home Depot. I had to get this from my local flooring supplier, so check it out if they have it. And I think this is going to definitely be a good option for any maintenance and repair down the road. If you're renting down your basement and somebody drops something heavy or hammer on it, you don't have to worry about replacing the entire floor. You can basically poke the knife into the middle of a piece, get it out, and without even reapplying a new glue, because that glue is supposed to be always active, you're just gonna slide the new piece in, hammer it in, and that's basically done. In the case you get any flood, with this kind of flooring, you don't have to worry about sucking the water underneath because water is not trapped because there is a glue underneath and the flooring on the top of that that does not leave any room for water to sit in. Like with a vinyl click, click vinyl or laminate, there is some space under the flooring that water can get trapped and it can create some mold and bad smell over time and you don't want that i mean upstairs is different because basements are really tricky with the flood because we have a sump pump and if that gets clogged it happens very often for basements to get flooded and in that case you want to really have easy solution with this kind of flooring just to come in like with ceramic tiles just mop it out and that's about it i want to show you one area in this basement here i'm going to place the vinyl click flooring and I mean, just look at that. Look at that gap underneath because this is a peak here. This is high area, main plumbing stack. They didn't get buried enough deep into concrete. So this is what we got left with. So in the case you wouldn't really do a good job in leveling this basement floor, this is what you would get. This would be huge soft spot here. And walking on this area here over time, the lock would break, disengage and one piece of the flooring would just be sticking out. And what you never gonna get with a glue down flooring, look at how smooth and perfect that is. And let me show you that gap one more time. I mean, look at this entire plank. Look how that works. Or if I press here, look at what the other side of the plank does. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. As well, I decided to install this flooring in the washroom as well. I just continued with the pattern that I run in the hallway, straight into the washroom, right under the toilet. I didn't have a toilet there, but I could easily fit my flooring around the flange and set my toilet right on it. And it's great, it fits perfect. I didn't want to go with a ceramic tile. It's more expensive, more labor intensive. This is the same as a ceramic tile and it works awesome with water. Good thing about it, I don't have a transition trim in between my hallway and my washroom and there is nothing under the door. 
As well, part of installation, this is much easier to slide under the door jams, under the baseboards if you need to, because simply it's flexible. Comparing to this one, that there is nothing really you can do much. You really have to cut it precisely to a size and try to fit it in. That sometimes can be very hard and challenging. With this one, I promise it's gonna be much, much easier. So I will 100% recommend glue down flooring. It's really DIY project. It's not hard to install. I have the video how to do it. Basically, you just have to be really picky and precise on your first row, actually first row or two, and then after that, it goes easy. You can spread out the glue throughout the entire room and just keep setting a piece by piece, piece by piece. And you, when you're setting your pieces, you really want them to be tight together when you're sending it in. Take a look at the video, and I think you're gonna have a good idea how to get it done. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any kind of question, you can leave a comment down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.